Hi, this is Federico with Cuddle, and in this short video, I want to show you a template we just released for making this heart-shaped box with a lid. The template, as usual, is customizable, so you can change the dimensions of the box, and we even included a few variations on the decorative pattern that goes on the lid. So let me show you how to change those things, how to grab the file, and how to put the box together. Let's jump into it. You will find a link to this project in the video description. Here in the project page, I'm going to scroll down and see all the different options I can change. In order to change any of these numbers, you can click and drag to the right to increase the number or to the left to decrease it, or you can always click and type the number that you want and press enter. In the case of this box, the width determines the distance between the two uh, fattest parts of the heart, between these two points, but it doesn't necessarily change the proportions. The height determines how tall your box is. So notice that when I change it, the slats get taller or shorter. The next parameter lets me specify the thickness of my material, which I usually like to measure with calipers so I can get a nice fit on those joints. The material I'll be using is uh, 0 0.1118 inches. I'm going to leave the curve compensation with the default number in my case, but you should know that a higher number means a tighter fit. At this point, I can go ahead and download a cuttable file if I want a plain lid like this one by clicking the blue button. And if I'm going to try one of the decorative ones, then I don't need to cut that one and I can uh, get rid of it by uh, clicking this checkbox. And now I can scroll down and check one of the other lids. I'm going to choose the hexagon pattern and you should know that the dimensions remain consistent, so I don't need to change anything. I simply need to download that file. One thing to note is that this template has three different colors for the lines, and that is to be able to select the different operations and the order of operations that the laser cutter will perform. So we have blue for score lines, black for inside cuts, and red for outside cuts. And in general, we want to do them in that order. The scoring operation is useful for two reasons in this project. The first one is that we want to glue the piece that comes out of here onto this piece so the lid sits nicely on top of the box. And the second reason is that the slats have numbers that match on the base. So you'll see that the slats are numbered from 0 to 11 and there are matching numbers on the base that are going to help us uh, put those in its correct place. So let's see what that looks like. I laid out the slats around the bottom of the box and I'm going to snap them in in order. The fit should be a little bit snug. To place the top opening of the box, I started at the point of the heart at a slight angle. And once I fit those in, I wiggle the slats around carefully while I was pressing until all of them were in. With some glue, I attached the base plate to the lid using that score mark as a guide and I got a nice fit on it. I think this box is a cool example of how you can use curvy organic shapes and still get something three-dimensional using flat materials with the laser cutter. I also uh, like that we added a few different versions of things you can put on the lid, but those are kind of like prompts for you to make your own customizations. I hope you liked it too, and you can help the channel by clicking like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.